when I'm looking at these reviews out there, and the reviews are saying 7 out of 10, I kind of get why. If this game had more polish, this would be an 8 or 9 out of 10. The idea on paper works, but the execution is poor. And the execution means everything. Especially when you got to get a new franchise, right? So you're trying to, you know, you're trying to get out there and, and push something new. Look, it's our new, it's our vision of where Half-Life 2 could have evolved. Maybe if they kept making Half-Life games, this is what it would have been. Except it probably would have been a hell of a lot more of a polished experience. This game is not. So the funny part about all that was the stream is ending. Okay, seriously, the stream is ending. People are disengaged. I'm getting bored, right? We've, we're about to end, and literally at the end of the stream, I save, and we're, it seems like we're leaving this area we're in, and someone says to me, I forget who it was, my apologies, but someone says to me, oh, Phil, guess what? Now you get to enter the open world, and I said, "What?" what? I, literally, this was my reaction. I was like, the open world? This game has an open world? Oh, no. <laughs> because if the game couldn't get polished right in the linear portion of the game, the first five hours, can you imagine how bad, how wonky, how glitchy the open world probably is? Right? So as soon as I they said that to me, I was like, dude, I am so turned off by, the, by this game now. Now, the funny part about it is I've seen people on the internet say they played this game for 50 hours. But then I see people say, that's bullshit. The game is an 18-hour game. Even with the open world, it's about 18 hours long. So you're about a third of the way through. And I'm like... You know, this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, at this point, you know, taking a look at, basically, how much I enjoyed it, how much the viewers enjoyed it, the fact that engagement was low, the fact that support was low. I mean, all these are factors, okay? I'm like, I really don't think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue with this game. Um, it just doesn't feel like it's worth the time. It feels like I'm going to keep playing it, keep being frustrated by how unpolished it is. And overall, it's just going to be a disappointment. Um, by the way, I have no commitment to finish it. It's a Game Pass game. I, I don't have, it's not like I invested money and I feel bad like I wasted money. I don't think so. I think it was an interesting experiment to check out, but I'm just not liking the game that much, you know? And it seemed like the people on stream were very much in agreement with me. But what's funny is... <clears throat> There's people who, like, now that I've kind of talked about this in the last 24 hours, are adamantly, oh, how could you? No, the game's great. You got to play it. It's like, well, where were you yesterday, right? If you love this game, where the hell were you during the major stream? Because the attendance was not there. The engagement was dead. No one was engaging with this game whatsoever. Everyone had completely tuned out. They were talking about completely different topics. They weren't even talking to me. I was engaged with the game trying to play it, and people were just ignoring me on my own stream. That's a problem, man. You know? So, no, State of Play was over hours. Big Mo, shut up. Stay, oh, we were all watching State of Play. State of Play ended within the first half an hour of my stream. My stream was three hours of gameplay. What a, what a cop-out. Oh, it was because of State of Play. The game is great. Oh, my God. You know how to... You really know how to try to, you know, justify nonsense and defend... You're like, here comes the fucking game defense force, right? <clears throat> anyway. Um, no, it's bullshit. Uh, I don't think that the game is very good. So, the only way that I would continue this game again is if, you know, people really rally together and say, no, we would like to see you play it, you know, sorry that maybe we weren't there, we weren't engaged that first stream, but, you know, maybe we'll have a change of attitude and we'd like to see it again, but I'm not, I'm, I'm feeling that's not going to happen. Now, I could be wrong. We've got today, tomorrow, and Sunday for people to let their opinions be known, all right? You know, want to leave comments on this video? want to contact me via other means, talk to me during the live streams, whatever, let me know. But in my opinion, I don't think Atomic Heart's going to work. Just being honest, okay? I, I mean, when you really think about it, we've got a new game coming out one week from today. It's Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Okay, I'm playing that one. It's, it's a Game Pass game. People are saying, hey, it's, it's, a, it's similar to like a, you know, a Neo or a, a, a FromSoft game. We want to see you play it. Now, all right, I'm down for that then. We haven't played a game like that in quite a long time. I, mean, I don't know how hard the game's going to be, but I'm down for something challenging and different, for sure. It's going to be refreshing, I feel, to play a game like that. That's next uh, Friday. Now, today we got React content. Tomorrow we got a React Marathon, which we're going to talk about in a second, right? That leaves three days this week for gameplay and one day Thursday before we get to a new release. So, in truth, do we even need to have another game in the rotation right now? And the answer is actually no. What we can do... <clears throat> is we can alternate Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We could do Hogwarts, 
then we can do like a dragon then we can do hogwarts and the night streams can be you know some call of duty and oblivion and and you know mix that in for variety and then we could just hold off until next friday and then we play the new game now we'll have a full repertoire of games to rotate around you see <clears throat> so i honestly think that's kind of what we're going to do because some people were like well are you going to start metroid prime there's no time for that how am i going to beat metroid prime in like three days right it's impossible I would say save Metroid Prime because in March, there's actually almost nothing going on for releases till the end of the month. So once we start wrapping up some of these playthroughs, Metroid Prime, the remake, will be the next game that I play on, on the schedule, right? But I think it just makes sense to say, hey, Atomic Heart, I'm not liking it that much. You guys apparently didn't like it because the stream was completely dead yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> stick a fork in it, man. We gave it a shot. Five hours. But it didn't work. That's the beauty of Game Pass. You can try these IPs that are gambles, and if they don't work out, they don't work out. And that's cool. There's no... And again, here's the thing. No matter what I do, I'll get criticized. Now people say, oh, Phil, rage quit. You don't even know what rage quit means, you idiot. There's no rage. I just decided not to finish it or not to keep going because I didn't really like it, and you guys didn't like it. And oh, Phil never finishes games. Yes, that's correct, because you totally didn't just complain that I did full playthroughs of Hi-Fi Rush and One Piece Odyssey and all these other games, even because I liked them. But you guys didn't necessarily like them that much. But then you complained to me that I finished them. So, you know, no matter what, <clears throat> idiots will say dumb shit. I don't care what they say. Let them say their own nonsense and their dumb-ass, mouth-drooling, circle-drifting communities. And, you know, perpetrate their own drama nonsense. I'm not addressing it because they're just morons. I don't care what the fuck they, they say or do over there. You know. It's idiot idiocy. It's, it's their own idiocracy. 